Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, so, new video, obviously new video, because this is a new video. Um, it's been a while since I made a new video because uh, we're pretty busy up here lately, but um, I managed to uh, put together this, this one, um, this particular one about uh, this uh, six that came in completely dead from a customer in the States. Uh, the phone didn't want to boot at all. It was, it was completely dead. And it's a very common issue on Samsung, Samsung build quality. Okay, I should make fun. iPhone is just as bad. Uh, with his own problems on iPhone 7 and all that. Anyway, so um, there was a short write on the motherboard um, around the Max chip, uh, which is the charging IC, and the components around it actually shorted out, and it's, it's, it's extremely, extremely common on, on these phones. So we've done plenty, plenty of these particular ones, and this, one, this one's been fixed, and uh, it's going back to the customer now, and we were able to recover all the data without resorting to chip off, which we would like to avoid if we can, uh, main reason being is because uh, you don't know what can happen. I mean, uh, removing a chip, a dual layer chip like the UFS chip, is, it's, uh, it can damage it. I mean, chip off is, is dangerous for on, on, on any device. Uh, if you can afford chip off, we do. I mean, we can, if we can use ISP or, or JTAG, we will. But obviously on these newer devices, uh, that, th that option is off the table. So uh, this is the only way of doing it. So uh, recovery was pretty straightforward. Uh, first thing we did was find the, find the problem, the heat was there, measure with the continuity, find that there was a short, check with diode mode, obviously uh, the reading was zero, 00, which is uh, short straight to ground, so first we removed the chip and the short was still there, and then, um, and then I, I popped up some, co some capacitors and the, the phone was fine, so, and we replaced the Mac chip obviously, and uh, we left the capacitors as is, uh, the user will not use this phone again, it's just uh, He's getting it back in a working state, but uh, he's already got a new phone. But anyway, so let's go look at the microscope. So uh, here's the phone in the microscope. Let me just zoom out here a little bit. Um, what, uh, what the initial problem was, like I said, there was uh, heat in this area. And uh, when I was looking at the ZXW, um, I, I knew, already knew this is a, a charging chip, but then I checked for uh, shorts in this area here and this this capacitor, this one, and this one that's broken off as well, uh, was shorted. So since this phone was ready at another shop, I removed the um, uh, the Max chip. When I, once it was removed, the short was still there. So the next logical thing was to just simply break uh, these three components off. So I started with this one and the short was still there. Then I removed this one and the moment I removed this one, the short was gone. Um, then I put a new Max chip on here, put the phone back together, and then um, lo and behold, it started charging. So the phone works uh, now. And the phone wasn't water damaged, it just simply failed. And then that was, the, that was the problem with the device. And here's that little bastard that didn't work. Um, that was shorted out. And then a good way to test this is to use uh, multimeter in continuity mode. So it's beeping right now. Let's just see. That should do prongs together, yeah. So let's test this guy here, yeah. Yeah, so this thing is pretty much short. It's a wire inside. There's a capacitor, it shouldn't be a wire, but as you can hear by the beep, it should not be beeping. And it is, so he's a, a little bastard that caused this phone to stop working but yeah doesn't look bad it just uh, just went bad i don't know maybe he was doing drugs or something but yeah not the user the capacitor so that's it thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you don't the other button works just as fine uh thanks for watching and uh definitely gonna make another video soon uh hopefully in the next few weeks not too busy uh but yeah so that's uh that's the galaxy s6 data recovery thanks for watching